Welcome back. Right now, health officials are warning not to drink raw milk or consume cream products from a California company called Raw Farm. Officials say the bird flu was discovered in the company's milk and dairy cows over the past week. The virus has been spreading rapidly, particularly in California, where nearly 500 of the more than 700 infected U.S. herds have been detected. Health workers across the country are keeping an eye on the virus, and that's that's caused these large outbreaks. But could it affect you, and could it be our next pandemic? We're joined now live by Dr. Matthew Binnaker. He is the Director of Clinical Virology at the Mayo Clinic. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me on this morning. So this virus has been around for decades, but we're, we're recently now seeing it across continents, across different species. Why does this concern people like you? Yeah, as you mentioned, we've known about bird flu for decades, but over the last two years, we've actually seen the largest outbreak of avian influenza in wild birds, poultry, and now in a number of different mammalian species in recorded history. So this is a very large outbreak that we're observing. We're also seeing cases in humans with about 58 cases uh, detected in the United States to date. The virus is uh, not only infecting animals and humans, but as it does that, it's changing over time, which raises concern that it might mutate to a point where we start to see human-to-human uh, -human transmission, worse disease, and potentially large outbreaks among humans. That hasn't occurred yet, but we're very um, aware and concerned about that possibility. So could this be our next pandemic? Well, we're not close to that yet, but I think that we are definitely um, keeping an eye on this virus, how it's infecting not only animals and birds, but also people. Uh, the public health sector is doing what's called sequencing of the virus to look at specific changes in its genome that might signal the potential for increased human to human transmission. If we start to see that, if we start to see more individuals become infected, if we get evidence that the virus is being transmitted from one person to another, that's gonna bring us to a different risk level in terms of outbreak and potential pandemic. So maybe we should back up a little bit and talk about how we got here and what exactly bird flu is. Yeah, so everyone knows about human influenza. We see epidemics of human influenza each fall and winter in the Northern Hemisphere causes respiratory symptoms, body aches, but there's also strains that circulate in birds and now in certain mammals. Uh, we've known about avian influenza for decades, but we haven't seen to date uh, the large spread transmission of these viruses in birds, poultry, mammalian species that we've been observing over the last two years. Um, these viruses, these avian influenza viruses, have shown high mortality rates when they have crossed over into humans. We've seen mortality rates upwards of 50%, which is very alarming in the event that these viruses gain the ability to be spread efficiently from person to person. Again, we haven't seen that person to person transmission yet, but with the rate and number of infections in birds, mammals, and now over 50 infections documented in humans in the United States, this concern that the virus might change enough to gain that ability is as probably high as it's ever been. Uh, doctor, we only have about 30 seconds left. Can you just tell us how we can protect ourselves? Yeah, first and foremost, if you work with birds, poultry, work in a dairy facility, and you're interacting with any of those animals that might be sick or have died, you need to avoid contact or wear protection on your eyes, over your uh, mouth, and wear gloves. Uh, second, get your annual flu vaccine this year. It will help prevent reassortment events and the potential for a pandemic. And then third, don't drink or eat raw or unpasteurized uh, milk or food products. Okay, all good tips. Thank you. Uh, we really Thank appreciate you. your time today.